Imagine there was a measles outbreak in your community. You would need to understand the situation to determine how best to respond. For example, where specifically is this happening? How many people are affected? Which populations are most at risk? Analyzing surveillance information can help you find answers. Throughout the month, you gather and report vaccine-preventable disease and AEFI surveillance data. This data is analyzed by central or national authorities, but you can analyze surveillance data at the health facility level as well. Analyzing surveillance data can help predict and detect outbreaks, identify high-risk populations, and monitor the impact of immunization services. In this video, you will explore how to analyze surveillance data to learn more about when, for whom, and where vaccine-preventable diseases are occurring in your communities. You will also look at district-level analyses of the impact of vaccination and the occurrence of adverse events. First, let us look at how to detect when outbreaks occur. To understand the frequency and timing of a specific vaccine-preventable disease, you can plot the number of cases over time. This graph shows cases of measles by month. You can see how a graph like this can be used to show trends and alert to possible outbreaks. To develop your own surveillance chart, begin by clearly labeling the chart with the health facility name and year. Next, add the time increments along the bottom. This graph shows monthly cases, but weekly or more frequent reporting may be required. On the side, show the number scale for cases of that disease. Finally, plot the case data to show the number of cases each month. This example shows a bar chart, but you can also use a line graph by plotting dots and connecting them. When updated regularly, these charts can alert you to increase in the number of cases of a particular disease or possible outbreaks. Graphs of trends that become outbreaks are also called epidemic curves. Keep these updated charts in your records so you can compare data between seasons and years. This data will also be useful to illustrate disease patterns over time and compare them with immunization data to see the impact of immunization services. This is usually done over a long time frame and at the district level or higher. The example shown here compares the incidence of measles over time as vaccine coverage increase in this particular district. When you detect an increase in the number of vaccine-preventable disease cases, you should conduct further analysis to determine who is at highest risk. Sort cases by age and sex to better identify those at high risk and help plan a targeted response. Also use data to analyze where outbreaks occur. Tracking cases on a map is a way to analyze high risk and most affected areas. Mark the residencies of the patients from each case on a map. You can use the catchment maps prepared for microplanning when tracking the location of outbreaks. We just looked at how to analyze data about vaccine-preventable diseases. It is also important to analyze data about adverse events following immunization or AEFIs. This lets district and higher levels investigate the likely causes of these events by specific vaccine. For example, they might compare the expected rates of adverse events in vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals. Analysis can also facilitate the investigation and response to serious adverse events. You should now know the basics of analyzing surveillance data at a health facility level focusing on when, for whom, and where outbreaks are happening.